Shrana channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a Scopus Index Journal. It is called as Journal of Computational Analysis and Applications. So in this video, we will try to find out whether this journal is really indexed in the quartile 4 of Scopus database. So we are getting some news that this journal accepts the articles within 3 days and publication within 10 days. We will try to find out the acceptance or maybe rejection ratio about this particular journal and whether this journal is indexed in the Web of Science database, ABDC quality list as well as UGC care group 1 or maybe group 2 journalists. We'll also try to understand the time from the submission till the publication till the indexing of the article in the Scopus database. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of Journal of Computational Analysis and Applications. The review about this particular journal all starts out with this uh, particular social media message. Okay, so this is Journal of Computational Analysis and Applications. It comes under Scopus Q4, they have mentioned. So surprisingly, they have mentioned that publication is within one week. Okay, so here it has mentioned the publisher website and they have also given the Sci Imago Journal Rank uh, website link as well. So they have mentioned that acceptance is just within three days and publication is within 10 days. Uh, is the uh, Scopus uh, very easy enough? So they have uh, displayed these details. Okay. So we have some information in this uh, particular channel group, okay, publication in Scopus slash Web of Science slash UGC slash IEEE. We decided to cross check this information. So we have searched for Journal of Computational Analysis and Applications. We have got some search results. The first search result comes from udoxuspress.com. Uh, also, we have Sci Imago Journal Rank discussing about this particular journal. We also have a Springer website as well. But anyway, let me show you one website, prref.com. Okay, so they have displayed information. Okay, when you click on journal website, it is redirecting to a Springer link. Okay, but uh, if you try to click on the submission website, it is not uh, clickable, which means that the link is not active. Okay, so here we find out that this journal, okay, they have mentioned that it comes under SCIE as well as SSCA. We try to cross check uh, this journal information with regards to other databases now we can understand that the, they have uh, displayed the springer link for this particular journal so here they have mentioned that this uh, particular journal name is actually archive and no longer receiving submissions with this publisher which means that the publication in this particular website is actually closed okay so which means that up to uh, October 2003, okay, all the issues are closed for this uh, particular website. So maybe they would have moved to another one website. And as far as this website is concerned, you know the name Springer, okay, they have been maintaining internationalism in the publication of the articles and the articles are quality enough. We go into the website of the first search result. So this is actually udoxuspress.com. Okay, so here they have displayed the journal name, the ISSN number, okay, online as well as print ISSN number. Okay, we can understand that uh, applied analysis, applied functional analysis, approximation theory, fuzzy sets. So all are related to mathematics and computational sciences we can find over here. And they have also displayed a Elsevier Scopus logo. Okay, so here they have mentioned that they come under Q4 quartile in the computational mathematics. As far as the current submission is concerned, the last date of submission they have mentioned to be September 30, 2024. So this is actually the current issue, volume 33, issue number 5 of 2024. We find a decent number of articles. Uh, let me tell you that most of them are Indian other articles. Although the uh, journal name uh, they have displayed and the publisher might have originated from USA, but they are publishing too much of Indian other articles. When you go to the archive section, okay, surprisingly, up to 2023, okay, they have been maintaining some uh, kind of uh, decorum. But as you see in 2024, we have issue number one, issue number one A, okay, then issue number two, then you have volume 33, issue number four. They have displayed as selected papers on uh, this particular field. Then they have displayed volume 33, issue number 5 of 2024 we do not have uh, issue number 3 of 2024 we really don't know whether it is really the scopus index journal and when we try to total the number of articles being published in 2023 
we find that exact number of articles got indexed in the Scopus database. But with regards to 2024, if you try to total the number of articles, okay, uh, issue number one and issue number one A, it is equal to 50 articles, okay. But as you see in 2024 in Scopus database, there are exactly 50 documents, which means that up to issue number one A of 2024, all the articles got indexed. This is what our assumption is about, okay. And if you try to total the number of articles of issue number two, issue number four, issue number five, it accounts to approximately 100 odd articles and those 100 odd documents are not now indexed in the Scopus database. And if we try to go through these uh, particular three issues, we find too much of the Indian author articles and in one particular issue, we find approximately 50 articles. We can understand that the first issue of this uh, particular journal, which is actually displayed in this website, is volume 20, issue number 1, 2016. But in Springer website, the last issue was around like October 2003. So maybe between 2003 to 2016, they would have moved to another one website and maybe this is the latest website. Let me also tell you that this is the only website which is actually publishing the articles right now in 2024. When you browse through the editorial uh, team board members, okay, so they have displayed the associate editor, okay. Also, they have displayed editorial uh, board members, okay. We can understand that uh, the scientists or maybe researchers or maybe professors are from uh, different countries. They could have displayed an email ID or maybe an ORCID uh, profile or maybe biography even. But of course, they have displayed the affiliation details of each and every person. We still do not know who is actually the editor-in-chief of this particular journal. They have not displayed over here. And when you browse through the contact section, okay, so they have displayed uh, one Gmail ID and one email ID associated with the eudoxespress.com. But we do not have a phone number. We do not have a affiliation address with pin code. We do not have a live Google map location where they are actually based on. We have a feeling that uh, from the Springer website uh, from USA, they might have moved to this particular website, but we find too many Indian author articles in the US publisher website. So we believe that the editor in chief is from India. I will also try to show you another one website, web0.msci.memphis.edu. So they have displayed uh, some information about this particular journal from 1999 till 2003. Whatever is displayed in the Springer website, they have displayed. And they have mentioned for the electronic version of the journal, please visit the first search result website, adxspress.com. So about this particular journal, we have some confusion. Okay. But anyway, we will cross check this information with the sciimagojournalrank.com. So we search for this particular journal in sciimagojr.com. We are getting the search results. So country is US. The one thing that is uh, striking my mind every now and then is that, okay, it is a US uh, based journal. Why are they publishing too many Indian other articles? And the publisher they have mentioned to be Edoxus uh, Press uh, LLC, which is exactly the same as that of the first search result website. H index is 36. Okay, so they have displayed the ISN number. Coverage shows 1999 till 2023. Do not worry. We will cross check this information in the Scopus database. When we click on home page as well as how to publish in this journal, it is exactly redirecting to the first search itself website, which brings us to the conclusion that according to Sci Imago Journal Rank, the first uh, search result website that is actually udoxespress.com uh, is actually the original website. You can also find the scope of this uh, particular journal. And uh, right now in 2023, they have given uh, the quartile to be Q4 for the category of computational mathematics. So we can see the two year, three year and five year statistics about uh, this particular journal. And in the comment section, they have asked about article processing charges for which we are not getting a relevant reply from the Sci Imago journal rank. However, they have confirmed that uh, Udoxus Press LLC is the publisher website. So about Sci Imago journal rank, we have got some information anyhow. We will check this information in the Scopus database. So in scopus.com, sources being selected in the title, you choose uh, uh, Journal of Computational Analysis and Applications. We are getting the search result. Okay. So here the Scopus coverage years shows 1999 till 2024. Okay. Same publisher, same ISN number. We do not have a view homepage. In the Scopus content coverage, we find in 2024, uh, 50 documents got indexed. As I told you, 
out of two issues 50 documents got indexed and remaining 100 uh, documents were uh, right now not indexed in 2024 we are right now in uh, september 2024 till now we have not got the relevant information in the scopus database however when we check uh, in 2023 37 documents got published in the first website and 37 documents got indexed overall we can uh, see that uh, during 2016 207 documents 2017 217 documents like uh, 200 uh, odd documents being indexing average okay and in recent years they have reduced but right now in 2024 if we total the number of articles being published in the first website it is accounting to approximately 150 and in the site score rank and trend we can find that this journal comes under the 24th percentile so since it comes under 0 to 25 which means that it comes under the q4 quartile so whatever information given in the sci Omega journal rank has been found to be correct so about how long will this journal remain in the scopus database we really do not have any idea because why uh, means uh, here in the social media platform we have observed that acceptance is given within three days and publication is given within 10 days and we find too many articles uh, being published in 2024 and not all articles being indexed in 2024 right now we have a feeling that uh, this journal might be removed from the scopus database so that might be the reason it would have reached the agents and that is the reason they are broadcasting this message we decided to search for this journal information in the master journalist so mjl.clarivate.com so we are not getting the relevant search result which means that this journal is not indexed in the web of science database in the abdc australian business science council journal quality list we decided to search for journal of computational analysis and applications we are not getting the search result which means that this journal is not indexed in the abdc quality list ugc care website we have ugccare.unipone.ac.in we have group one and group two so since this journal is right now uh, indexed in the scopus source list it automatically comes under ugc care group two however there is a link uh, called list of clone journals ugc care group two when you try to click on this particular link uh, we search for this particular journal we are not getting the search result which means that there are no cloned or maybe fake website with this particular journal so about this particular journal the article processing charges have not been mentioned anywhere in the website so keeping uh, in consideration that uh, through the social media platforms we are receiving information that acceptance is given just within three days and publication is given within 10 days we believe that since it's a q4 quartile journal maybe the processing charges would be between 15,000 till 20,000 in indian rupees or approximately 200 till 250 dollar maximum as i am reminding you once again that in 2024 not all articles being indexed in the scopus database and we are quite unsure about how long will it remain in the scopus database so since this journal is currently indexed in the scopus source list it automatically comes under ugc care group 2 but however it is not indexed in the web of science database uh, i mean the SCIE or maybe ssca also not indexed in the abdc quality list as responsible authors, researchers and faculty members, please double check the journal maybe two or three times whether the articles are being indexed properly. Do not throw your hard earned money to any particular uh, website which is not currently indexing the articles in the Scopus database. So if you have any clarifications, questions, queries, positive or maybe negative experience, please share them in the comment section. you would have benefited a lot out of this useful awareness video so see you then in another interesting genuine review of a scopus web of science SCIE UGC care group one or maybe